As the movie begins, we are shown a hospital where we see a young doctor named Martin. Martin had recently completed his medical degree and was in his first year at the hospital. Martin goes to meet a new patient, Mr. Sanchez. But Sanchez was speaking Spanish, so Martin could not understand anything about him because Martin did not know Spanish. Then Martin gives him a medicine according to his report. A nurse named Teresa used to work in this hospital, who never spoke well to Martin and for this reason Martin used to irritate her a lot. Then after some time a patient is admitted in this hospital and its name is Diane. Diane is a very young and beautiful girl and she suffers from kidney infection, seeing that Martin says that she will get well soon. In the evening Martin goes to his house. Martin lived alone in this city and Martin did not even have a girlfriend. That's why Martin used to feel quite alone. The next day Martin goes to the hospital to meet Diane and sees that Diane has a diary in which she writes down everything. After this Martin starts treating Diane and he slowly starts liking her too. Once Diane's boyfriend Rich also comes to meet her and Martin feels a little bad seeing this. Just then the nurse Teresa comes to Martin and tells him that the medicine she gave to Mr. Sanchez has got a side effect because he was allergic to that medicine, but it was not Martin's fault because no allergy was mentioned in the report. But despite this, Teresa puts all the blame on Martin. Now the next day Martin goes to meet Diane and then she is fighting over the phone with her boyfriend. Diane tells Martin that she should break up with Rich. On this, Martin says that if you love someone then you should leave Rich. Then the two of them start talking. But in the meantime, the nurse Teresa comes inside the room without permission and goes away shouting at Martin, which Martin does not like at all. In the evening, Martin tells Diane that she is almost healed and can go home the next day. The next morning Martin comes to the hospital and sees that Diane has left, Diane's father comes to say thank you to Martin. Diane's father invites Martin to dinner at his home before leaving again to treat his daughter. Now at night Martin gets ready and goes to Diane's house. They're Diane's parents, her brother and her sister Valerie are present and they welcome Martin. Martin goes there and learns that Diane is not at home and she has gone out with her boyfriend. Then after dinner, Diane's sister Valerie starts showing interest to Martin. And we learn here that Valerie is interested in Martin. During dinner, Valerie gets into a fight with her brother and soup falls on Valerie's dress, but she goes to her room to change it. Martin also goes to use the bathroom, but he accidentally opens Valerie's bedroom in which she is changing clothes. After this Martin says sorry to her and goes to the bathroom. Martin finds Diane's medicine kept in the bathroom. If Diane misses even one dose, she will get sick again. On his way back, Martin also finds Diane's bedroom and Martin steals a picture of Diane from there and brings it home with him. T the next day Martin's head asks him why he wants to be a doctor and whether he likes being in this hospital. To which Martin says that there was a doctor in his neighborhood whom everyone respected very much. Martin felt that if he became a doctor, he would also get respect. Then he also tells her that he does not like the behavior of the staff here, but still he loves his job. In lunchtime Martin gets a call from Valerie and she says that my mother wanted to give you a present. But that day she forgot to give you so if you want I can come to your apartment near you or else you can come to my house. He tells him that if you want to come home today don't come because I will be out today and then Martin intentionally goes to Diane's house the same evening. As soon as he goes there, Martin uses the bathroom of his house. But this time he does what he shouldn't have done. He changes Diane's medicine so that Diane doesn't get better and comes back to her in the hospital. After this, Martin leaves from there with his gift. Now it happens as Martin thought. Due to the lack of effect of the medicine, Diane falls ill again, due to which she has to be admitted to the hospital and Martin starts treating him again. Martin even starts doing night shifts for Diane, and he tells her that she will be fine soon. But after Diane sleeps at night, Martin changes her medicine again because he wanted to keep Diane with him as much time as possible. Well, as Martin is about to throw away the other medicine, he bumps into a nurse named Marianne who tells him that she accidentally gave Mr. Sanchez's allergy medicine. And then Martin goes to the bathroom and throws the original medicine in the dustbin. The next day when Martin again goes to the storeroom to get another medicine, here he catches a man named Jimmy getting intimate with a patient. Actually Jimmy had given some kind of drugs to that patient. Because of this she was getting intimate with him. But the lady tells that she is doing this on her own free will and Martin tells them both to leave. That night, Martin once again changes Diane's medicine. He even changes Diane's report sample. Seeing this, the head doctors also get upset that why Diane is not getting well even after giving all the medicines and they start feeling that some kind of infection has Diane occurred. Martin tells Diane that his condition is deteriorating and that he might need an operation. Diane asks if he will operate on her, 
To which Martin says that he doesn't do surgery and probably won't even need an operation. Just then, Diane gets a call from Rich, but she cuts it off and he tells Martin that he's had a fight with his boyfriend. Then Martin sees that Rich is coming this way to meet Diane. So he tells Diane to rest and he stops Rich midway. Seeing Martin, Rich tells him that he wants to meet Diane. But Martin lies to her that she is sleeping and visitors are not allowed. Rich had brought a hard-shaped balloon for Diane, which he gives to Martin and he tells him to deliver this balloon to Diane, but after Rich leaves from there, Martin breaks that balloon and throws it in the dustbin itself. In the evening, Martin comes to check up on Diane, then Diane tells Martin that she was intimate with Rich even while taking medicine, so did he get sick again because of that? To which Martin says that there is nothing like that, then Diane asks if she will survive then Martin says yes. Next day expert is called for Diane and he tells Martin to check up Diane every two hours keep doing it after this, Diane is also operated on and after the operation, Diane asks Martin why he does not have a wife or a girlfriend. On this Martin says that he has not found any good girl yet, that's why he doesn't have any girlfriend or wife. Hearing this, Diane tells her that I thought you like my sister, but Martin categorically denies this and then Diane is very happy to know because in reality Diane also started liking Martin now was. Diane says it's okay because her sister is not a good girl. Diane faints after saying this and Martin can't stop herself and kisses her in her unconscious state. That night, Martin takes a long nap, and when he opens his eyes, he discovers that Diane's condition has become critical. Martin goes to see Diane in the ICU, so there he learns that Diane is not breathing. The doctors give CPR to Diane but to no avail and then Diane dies after seeing Martin. Martin had killed an innocent girl for his selfishness. For a few days, Martin has a lot of guilt for this. The head doctor also calls a therapist for Martin because it was Martin's first patient who died. So he felt that Martin's mental condition would not be good. After some time, Diane's father also comes here and accuses Martin that his daughter has died because of him. The head doctor defends Martin and says that it is not Martin's fault and sometimes it is impossible to save the patient in the rear condition and then the guards take Diane's father from there. Well a few days later Jimmy tells Martin that he has found Diane's diary in which all the things that happened between Diane and Martin are written. And it is clearly visible that something was going on between Martin and Diane in this matter if head has to if found out, Martin may have to lose his job. Jimmy blackmails Martin to arrange some drugs for him and then he returns the diary. Hearing this, Martin does the same and under compulsion, he hides some drugs and gives them to Jimmy. But on getting the drugs, Jimmy says that he will never give her that diary and will always keep blackmailing like this. Now Martin gets very angry with this and after going to his house he mixes the poison in the drugs and makes a poisonous drug. Martin gives these drugs to Jimmy the very next day. And Jimmy takes the drugs in the hospital itself and her condition starts deteriorating in the hospital itself. Martin stops her in the bathroom and the key to her locker also comes out of her pocket, and soon after, Jimmy dies there. After Jimmy's death, Martin takes out Diane's diary from the locker and brings Diane's diary to his house. Not many people pay attention to Jimmy's death because he knew that Jimmy is a drug addict and everyone thought that there was an overdose of drugs. That's why he died. The next day a detective arrives at Martin's house investigating Jimmy's death. He starts asking Martin some questions about Jimmy, like whether he had enmity with anyone or was he a drug addict, but Martin says that he didn't know Jimmy that well, so nothing can tell him about it. During this interrogation, Martin is panicking terribly and then his eyes go to Diane's diary which was lying in the same room. Martin immediately goes to the bathroom with that diary and tries to flash all its pages, but the pages get stuck on the toilet itself and the water starts overflowing. Seeing that Martin is completely scared and then he sneaks out of his bathroom window the ocean was right in front of Martin's house and Martin knew that now he will be caught and so he starts running towards the ocean to commit suicide and after some time he dies due to drowning in the ocean. But then we learn that all this didn't actually happen and it was just Martin's imaginings. But after imagining all this, Martin changes his decision and then he comes back to the bathroom with the help of his windows and collects all the pages and throws them in the dustbin. After erasing all the evidence, he goes out and tells the detective that if he is getting late and going to the hospital, then he can ask the rest of the questions some other day and then the detective leaves from there. Now many days pass like this and after few days we see Martin who is back to his normal life as if nothing happened while he has murdered two people. And